Inventories are used for many different purposes and by various departments for their respective needs and requirements, but there are generally five types of inventories that every production organization should emphasize on. Number 1, Movement Inventories. Number 2, Buffer Inventories. Number 3, Anticipation Inventories. Number 4, Decoupling Inventories. And Number 5, Cycle Inventories. Let's start by discussing about movement inventories. Everyday resources are being transported to the industries and putting them to use by production organization through various modes of transportation. Movement inventories are also called transit or pipeline inventories. This is basically dealt with transporting the resources from source to destination. For example, coal is transported from coal fields to an industrial township by trains, then the coal while being transported will not be able to provide any service to the customers for power generation or for burning furnaces etc. Number 2, Buffer Inventories. These inventories are basically kept for future needs for the organization in stock because there may a case when more inventories would be needed and therefore every organization keeps an average amount of inventories in stock so that the organization can utilize those resources efficiently and effectively without any delay. This mainly calls for uncertainty in demand, as every organization would need the required amount of stock but what would happen when the stock runs out? Everything would stop mainly the production so it is very important that excess amount of resources should be kept in stock. Similarly, the average time for delivery that is, the time between placing the order of resources and receiving those orders and getting them ready for use in stock, technically known as lead time. The idea of keeping buffer stocks is to enhance the level of providing customer service and gradually reducing the number of stockouts and back orders. Stockout is something when the stock runs out and the needs of customers are not being able to fulfilled but in some situations back ordering is possible that is, the order for goods demanded is fulfilled as soon as the next shipment of stock arrives, while in others it is not as it looks because the demand might be lost forever which leads to temporary or permanent loss of customer goodwill. So it is very important to keep buffer stocks as demand may arise at any point of time. Number 3 Anticipation Inventories Anticipation inventories are put under scrutiny for future demands so that when the time arrives, the supply of products flow rapidly. Like producing raincoats before the rainy season, creating crackers before dialy etc. The idea under this is to smoothen the flow of production process for longer time on an iterative scale instead of operating with excess overtime in a particular period and then keeping the system idle for long or even shut down the system because of unnecessary demand for another period. Number 4. Decoupling Inventories this type of inventory deals with the work rate of different machines and people because normally machines work at different rates some slower and some faster. For example, a machine might be producing half the output of the machine on which the item being handled is to be processed the next. Inventories in between the various machines are held in order to disengage the processing on those machines. In absence of those inventories, different machines and people cannot work on a continuous basis. Clearly. Therefore the decoupling inventories act as shock absorbers and have a cushioning effect in the face of varying work rates, and machine breakdowns and failures and so on. Number 5. Cycle Inventories Cycle inventories are those when purchases in lots instead in exact amount of stock need in a specific point of time. But yes if all purchases are made as per the exact requirement of stock there would have been no cycle inventories. But then the cost in getting these stocks would be much higher as per the customer needs and requirements. They are also called lot size inventories and larger the lot size inventory the greater would be the level of cycle inventory 